Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. Isn't this a cute little pillow? I'm going to show you how to take even your scrap fabric, if you have it, and turn it into this cute sailboat quilt block. Now, you don't have to make it and put it into a quilt. You can make it into a pillow. So I'll show you two different ways how you can make it into a pillow. But if you did want to make a quilt out of this, make every one of the sailboats a different color. So really you can use up those scraps really fast. Okay, let's get started. Take your two six inch background or sky fabrics and you're going to take your ruler, place it corner to corner and you're going to draw a line corner to corner. Now you're doing this on both six uh, inch squares and then you're going to bring front sides together of your sail fabric. So here it is. Here's my other sail. Okay, so front sides together and then you're going to stitch right on that drawn line. Stitch right on top of it. Then you're going to take your ruler, place the quarter inch line, place it on your stitch line and get it right on there and then you're going to cut this off and just set it aside, throw it away, or put it in your scrap pile. You're going to do this on both pieces. Then you're going to press, uh, press them, then unfold it and press on top. Now on one square you're going to press this seam towards the background fabric, but on the other sail uh, square you're going to press this seam towards the sail fabric. All right, now take both of your sail squares that you've made and bring them on top of each other. And look at this corner right here. You'll notice that the seam on the bottom is going in the opposite direction than the seam on top. It's going this way. You want those like that so that they match up really well and it should feel flat in there if you have them locked in really tight. Then go ahead and stitch one quarter inch along here. Then press on this uh, top of the seam, then unfold and press the seam on top. And make sure that this seam here all of it is going in one direction. It doesn't matter which sail it goes towards. Just make sure that it's all going nice and smoothly in one direction. Now take your two and a half inch by five and a half inch piece of background fabric. Bring it on top. Line it up on this side. Go ahead and stitch one quarter inch. Then press the seam unfold and press again. Okay, so now you have this section all completed. So go ahead and set that aside. Now take your two three and a half inch squares, place your ruler on top, and draw your line on both of them. Okay, so now you've got lines going corner to corner. Now take these squares and you're going to place them on each end of the boat bottom. Okay, so this is your boat fabric. Now as you're placing them, you're placing them right up against the edges here, but make sure your pencil diagonal line goes from this corner down this way. And then over here on this side, it's going from this corner down that way. Because if you have them going like this, you're going to have one funky looking little boat. So make sure they're both going this way because you're creating that boat bottom. Go ahead and stitch right next to that pencil line. Not on top of it, but right next to it. But make sure you stitch on this side of the line. This side. And over here on this square, you're going to stitch on this side of the pencil line. Make sure it's real close though. Now take your ruler, place that quarter inch line on your stitch line and then you're going to take your rotary cutter and go ahead 
and cut that off. You're going to do that on both sides, both ends of that. Then go ahead and press the squares so that they go out like that. So now you can see your boat shape. Alrighty, so now take your sea water and here's your boat. This is the sea water or lake water. Bring it on top and stitch one quarter inch along here. Now go ahead and press, then unfold and press on top. Now make sure that this seam here goes that way towards the ocean water. Okay, towards that ocean water. Now you're going to take the sails and the boat bottom and ocean and you're going to bring them together. So you're going to stitch them together here. So just bring the sails on top and you're going to stitch one quarter inch along here, right along there. And then go ahead and press the seam on the back, then unfold and press it on top. And this seam that you just pressed, make sure it's going towards the bottom of the boat. Here is another block that I created. You can make multiple blocks with each sailboat a different color and make a really pretty quilt out of just sailboats alone. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to put this block into a pillow. I want to make a 16 inch finished size pillow. So I've cut two strips that are 12 and a half by two and a half inches wide. And you're going to bring front sides together stitch a quarter of an inch seam on each side, then press your seams on the back, unfold and press on top, and you're pressing your seams towards your outer strips. Then take two more strips that are two and a half inches wide by 16 and a half inches long, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to stitch them on one quarter inch seam, press your seams on the back, unfold and press on top. This is the fabric that I'm going to have on the back side of the pillow. I purchased this fabric at Walmart. Not all Walmart stores carry fabric and craft items. Have the front side up, the pretty side. Take your pillow front and place it front side down so you're seeing the back of the block. And then I like to add in just a plain piece of fabric on the very back of that block because uh, it will be on the inside no one will see it. It adds a little more body. Then you're going to take your ruler and place the ruler along that edge and go ahead and cut around all four sides so you get an exact fit. Now pin all the layers together and you're going to leave an opening on one side that's large enough for your hand to go through. So I've got a pin here and of course all around the edges, but I placed two pins here. And for this reason, you're going to back stitch here at the two pins and back stitch here. So begin stitching here, stitch a one quarter inch seam around all four edges. When you come back to the two pins, back stitch. Remember, do not stitch over your opening. Trim some of the excess fabric off at all four corners. You're going to go out about an eighth of an inch from this corner and trim it off. Trim a little bit on three sides, here and then here. Again, do this at all four corners. When you're done, your corners should look like this. Now reach in through your opening and begin turning it front side out. After you've turned it front side out, go ahead and reach inside and poke at all four corners so that they come out. Then you have a couple of options for finishing it off. You can go ahead and take your polyfill polyester stuffing and insert it in and begin filling the pillow. Make sure you fill in all the four corners first and then begin filling in the rest of the pillow. Or let me show you one more option. 
place pins around this seam here to hold it in place. Then again, you're going to leave an opening right here. So start stitching here and back stitch and just stitch in the ditch. That's where you stitch between the two pieces of fabric. So just stitch in there around all four sides. When you get to the two pins, back stitch. This is the filling that I'm using. It's called Polyfill Ultra Plus. It's a real soft pillow and it's fiber fill. I purchased this at Walmart, but always keep in mind, Walmart does not, not all Walmarts will carry fabric and craft supplies. You can also purchase this at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts and on the internet. As you take it out of the bag, Break it up into small pieces. You don't want to try placing it into great big clumps. Take the polyfill stuffing and begin inserting it into the pillow. I like to fill in all four corners first. And then after I've done that, I'll fill in the rest of the pillow. Fold your opening edges in a quarter of an inch and pin. Then stitch close to the edge all across here. The last step is to stitch this opening closed. Place quite a few pins along here before you stitch and make sure you don't have any puckering of the fabric along here. And then you're all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is really not a difficult block to make, as you can see. If you are interested in other quilt block projects, or you just want to know how to make pillows in general, look below your YouTube screen for those video links. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time, and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing.